I was uh, on a program a couple of years ago with Goldie, and um, he uh, took 12 young musicians, and um, we had to write songs together. And basically, the, ult the ultimate challenge was to do a gig at the Buckingham Palace. And when I did that, I played a few of my own songs, and um, people in the audience were there. So I got signed to uh, Decca, and um, since then I've just had the I've, I've had the opportunity to record all the songs that I've been writing all my life properly. I've had loads of experience with writing with people, which has been really good, um, like Goldie and Magnetic Man and, um, and Guy Chambers as well. We did like some collaborative stuff for uh, other artists, which is more commercial. But, and I'd say all of it was really good for me to grow as a writer, but I don't think it's influenced my own writing because I was writing quite a lot before that, like before I worked with these guys. So for me, it was almost like stepping out of my comfort zone, doing stuff like dubstep and drum and bass and commercial songwriting, um, because my own stuff is all that you'll hear on my album, which I think is quite far from that. I probably draw on things that are happening in my life. Um, so far, I have anyway. Um, a lot of the time, I'll sit down and play the chords, and um, then I'll write the words. Um, so I'll do the piano first. But um, yeah, like all, all life experiences, and they're all quite in, um, introspective songs, and they're a little bit self indulgent, probably, um, like most songwriters, I guess. But um, I try and make things quite interesting, like, like not just write about love and relationships and things to try and um, explore different subjects. Performing the opening night at the London Jazz Festival, I feel really honoured to be asked. Um, Really excited about it. It's the biggest thing I've done. So, all together, can't believe it. It's pretty great.